Hi guys, um, I just want to do a quick video um, to show how you can use Affinity Photo uh, to edit 360 photos. Um, I've got two photos here um, taken with the Yi 360 uh, VR camera. Um, the first one uh, is um, if we look in the, uh, just open it up, and if we look on the right hand side and the left hand side on the horizon, the horizons are not straight. So when I um, took the camera, it was on a tripod, and um, I it, it, I didn't have any uh, quick way of, uh, of leveling it all. So um, I'm going to use a, um, Affinity Photo to um, to level out um, that um, uh, that horizon, and then the second one. Um, Again, the horizons uh, not not brilliant, but also um, the when the photo first opens up, it looks to the center of the screen, and I want to move myself um, the selfie of myself uh, into the middle, so that uh, so when it opens, it looks straight into the selfie. So we can do that with the affinity photo as well. So. Um, Okay, so let's take the the first one, which was the uh, level in the horizon. So this is uh, if we right click and do open with Affinity Photo. Okay, so. When it opens it up, uh, you've got the, the photo which is in 360. Um, what we want to do is we want to look into that photo so as though we're looking in 2D or equirectangular. So to do this, we do layer, live projection, equirectangular projection. So when this first goes in, um, it goes to the center of the um, or the default view of, of, um, of a 360 um, and it always sets the heading and the pitch now the heading is the uh, um, is, is the rotation on your x-axis and the pitch is your rotation on the um, vertical uh, axis so Heading goes to 90, pitch goes to 90. So because we're correcting the horizon, we want to leave the pitch as 90. Um, so we're not pitching it forward or upwards. Um, we're we're going to stay on, on uh, 90 degrees uh, to the photo. Uh, the one that we want to change is heading. Now, normally you can go in and just drag the screen left, right, up, down, and it'll move. But that's kind of kind of uh, counterintuitive to what we want to do because we want to do the horizon so if we go up to heading at the top um, and do the, the drop down you'll get a slider and on the slide if you move it left it rotates that way if you move it right it rotates around but by doing the slider you're not changing the pitch so you're not actually looking down or up or so it makes it easier to determine what the horizon is so if we um, rotate in the 2D sphere um, and uh, look out we can see that the horizon uh, or the water level um, across here is, is not level so um, what we're going to do is once we've got an area on the screen that we know should be level we can use this um, drop down here which is called straighten um, so if we click the little drop down Again, we get a slider, and this time we can go left and right. And as I go left and right, you can see the values change. Um, so minus and uh, and then plus figures. So um, if we uh, level it, so let's say that that looks fairly level. So that's minus four. But as I take my finger off the um, off the mouse button, it goes back to zero. But it's still remained level. Now, what this means is, is it's not gone wrong. That's intentional. What it what it means is I can now that particular 2D view in the 360 sphere is level. But if I go back to the heading and rotate round, I can rotate round 
and if I look at this way, if we look to the left, you can see it's it's not level on that point. So we again we can go to straighten, drop down it, and again we can move and rotate till we feel that it is level. Okay. So let go of the button again, and again it goes back to zero. So back into the heading. If we rotate round, um, and again that's a little bit um, not level. You can see it slopes up to the right, so we can go to straighten. Um, Okay, so now obviously normally um, you'd do the full 360, but we've got a, a building behind us, um, so it's a little bit more difficult to determine the straight. But it, I mean, the window looks fairly um, fairly straight. So okay, so I'm happy with that. So so now that's all straightened. Um, we need to come out of that uh, 2D view or the equirectangular, and to do that, we go layer, um, live projection, and remove projection, and that will take us to the full 360 image. And now you can see, if you look to the right hand side uh, over here and to the left hand side, the horizon now looks a lot more. Uh, flatter and straighter and that's it you've now um, used affinity to straighten that photo um, so what you now need to do is do file export um, select whatever type of file you want this time it's JPEG I'm going to do export and um, we'll call it the same but I'll put and straighten on the end click save um, and that's it it's done it's it's been straightened so let's come out of that um, so that's the scenario one which was just um, using the affinity photo to straighten the horizon within a 360 photo the next bit is to uh, also do the straighten but also to be able to move the uh, the center part of the photo which is where it does its default view when you go into uh, a 360 photo um, uh, being able to move that um, slightly so what we'll do is we'll open up the other picture which so we do open with affinity photo okay so it's the same as before we need to go from the 360 into an equi rectangular um, view so we go layer live projection equi rectangular projection and so that's the default view which is now on screen there so what um, what what we're going to do first things is get the center of the um, of the view for what we want so again we'll go over to heading Again, I don't recommend you um, free dragging in uh, in there because it makes it easier to just see the horizons. So if we change the head in, and I want to put myself into the center. So right, so which is gonna be say let's put let's have that view. Okay, so now that's um, got us in the center but um, the horizon is not right but what we need to do now is click on this center coordinate system and if you click on it it now will make that part the center and we can see that if we go back to layer and do live projection remove projection we can now see that the 360 image has been altered slightly and I'm now in the middle of the, um, the screen. Um, so that's great, that's taken it and slid it round and made that. But um, the, the horizon is still not correct. So what we're going to do 
is go back in uh, layer uh, live projection equirectangular projection okay and now we're gonna do what we did previously so we're gonna um, leave the editing as it is but we're gonna straighten and It's a bit difficult with the hills, but let's say that is about right. Let's try and go back to heading. Um, that's uphill. We've got a bit in the horizon there. We can see that's fairly straight. That looks fairly straight. Yeah, that looks maybe maybe a little bit. So let's. Uh, Um, okay, so um, if we have a quick uh, scan through on heading, there we go, it's all leveled out now. So again, layer, um, light projection, remove projection, so it goes back to um, 360, the horizon now is nice and level, and all I need to do is do uh, export. Um, and then give it another name. Then click save, and that's done. And um, that's it. That's uh, how you use uh, Affinity Photo to um, level the horizon uh, and to uh, center the uh, the actual 360 image. Um, uh, hope it's been uh, useful, somebody. Uh, speak to you all soon.